Hi everyone, welcome to How to Logtronics. This is the 7 inch HMI LCD display from DWIN with a resolution of 800 x 480. Currently, the DWIN display is very very popular in the market. DWIN is specialized in manufacturing HMI display which is compatible with all microcontrollers including Arduino, 8051, ESP boards, STM32, etc. In video 1 of this DWIN LCD series, we learned in detail about the DWIN LCD and its peripheral along with the IC name, features, pinout and capabilities. We also learned how to load the default film to this board using the SD card. The default firmware looked somewhat like this. There was an option for choosing multiple menus similar to the option available on Android phones. The basic demo explains how well its UI can be designed. In the second video, we designed the custom UI using the DGOS software. DGOS stands for DWIN Graphic User System. Using the DGOS software, all the touch and display function can be created and also the memory address can be defined. This was the UI created using the software which looks awesome because it is custom made. It has the function to slide, roll, control and switch. Today's video is all about using the DWIN display with Arduino board. Using the Arduino board, you can connect the servo motor, relay module, RGB LED module and so many other sensors. I have written a basic Arduino program to control this module. Here is the demo for the project. By sliding the servo control UI, I can control the servo rotation. By sliding this RGB slide, I can adjust the LED color. Using this switch mechanism, I can control the on off switch or relay. This project is very interesting, so let's get started and see how we can develop this system. Welcome back again. Let's see what component we need for this project. We need an Arduino Nano board. You can also try using the Arduino Uno board or any other equivalent Arduino board. This is a single channel relay module for on off control. We also need an RGB module or simply an RGB LED. I use this RGB module, a servo motor called SC90. This is used to test the PWM control signal. Few male to female jumper wires for connecting all the modules together. A breadboard for assembling all the modules together. Finally, the most important part is the DWIN LCD display. We are using the 7 inch LCD display called DMG80480 C070, which has a display resolution of 800 x 480. Remember one thing. To communicate with Arduino, you need to solder the terminal here. The soldering will activate the TTL communication. This soldering is important because I wasted my 5 important days trying to find out the issues that it was not working with Arduino. As seen here, the display accepts 5 volt power supply and has a pair of UART pins as RX2, TX2 and RX4, TX4. You can solder a 6 pin male heater here so that jumper wires can be connected with the Arduino pins. The pins are also marked on the back side. I will just use 4 pins in this guide. Regarding the UI creation part and the DIGA software part, you can refer to the previous video. The link is given in the description. The UI creation part is long and complicated so a dedicated video has been made earlier. We created the bin files, fun file, 32 ICL and 42 ICL file using the DGOS software. We assigned the mechanism of sliding for servo as well as RGB LED using the touch and slide function. We also assigned the address 5.00 for servo, 5.00 to 5.400 for RGB LED and 5500 for the servo motor. Remember these addresses as they are required in the code. After creating and compiling the complete UI file, copy the firmware file to the SD card. Remove the SD card from the PC and insert it into your SD card slot of the display. 
Connect the Devo in LCD to your computer using the SDL USB cable. The firmware download process will start automatically. After the downloading is done, remove the power supply for DWIN display. They remove the SD card as well. Now, again, ensure the USB power to the computer. Finally, the UI that was created using the DGOS software is loaded here on the display. You can check its operations now. After loading the UI, connect the display and all other modules to Arduino Nano using this circuit diagram. Connect the TX2 and RX2 of DWIN LCD to Arduino RX and TX pins. Supply a 5V external power supply to this display as the current requirement is higher. The rest of the connection is done via digital pins as RCV module and really require digital input output. The servo is connected to digital pin 3 as it requires PWM pin for controlling. Let us see the coding part now. We have assigned pins 4, 5 and 6 for RCV LED module. Similarly, pin 3 and pin 2 are assigned for servo motor and relay module. In the setup section, all modules are defined as an output pin. In the loop section, the serial communication between Arduino and the Win LCD is defined. The loop will store the whole frame in the buffer. The buffer frame is 0 cross 5A. This frame is taken from the data sheet. Then we defined the address of 0 cross 51 for servo and then 0 cross 52 to 0 cross 54 for RCV LED for relay the addresses is defined as 0 cross 55. These addresses are assigned while designing the UI in DGOS software. Now from the tools menu select the Arduino Nano board. Then select the COM port. Hit the upload button to upload the code. One thing to note, while uploading the code, remove the TX and RX connection from the Arduino board as a single UART is only available. So uploading is done and it's time to test the demo. First I will click on the servo part and control the servo motor. To control it, simply slide the slider. The rotation is done clockwise and anticlockwise depending on the movement of the slide. Similarly, for RCV part, the RCV LED will turn on and brightness will vary depending upon the slide variation. It looks awesome and any color can be generated using the RCV LED module. This last part is related to relay. You can click the on off button to turn on and turn off the relay. Literally any light fan or home appliance can be connected to a relay and can be turned on and off depending upon the switch from the d -win. This tutorial was amazing and I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.